This album is entitled Phoenix and it will be coming out on Whirlwind Records out in the UK. So we're excited about that and it will drop in January. Revolutionary hope resides precisely among those women who have been abandoned by history. I kind of came up with the album because I wanted to highlight kind of what I've been through and I guess really what the whole planet has been through during the pandemic. I wanted to show the different phases of life, kind of like a rebirth thing, that we're all coming out of this insane level of darkness, you know, and here in America, we didn't just have the pandemic, we had a lot of gun violence, we had a lot of racism, we had a lot of riots and protests, and I'm trying to highlight each one of those periods that we went through the past two years and show how resilient as not only a nation we are, but as human beings. I'm hoping that the listener will get to see, I guess from my vision, my story and my lifeline. The last projects I've done have featured, the last one I did was a tribute to John Alice Coltrane. So I was highlighting the legacy and homage that they have. And for this one, the reason I got these guests is to kind of, I'm playing my own music, my own compositions. I wanted them to show or kind of help me come out on my own and like really make my debut, showing my personality who I am. And I wanted the compositions to show like I'm a kid from New York, from Washington Heights what it's like to grow up there, what it's like to be from the city, and what it's like to live in such a vibrant place and watch it just kind of die and come back to life all over again. <laughs> I wanted to highlight on this project how phenomenal women composers, instrumentalists, and producers are. I wanted to highlight women that I felt don't get the credit they should, but are pioneers in their particular field, and they're the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing. So some of the guests are Patrice Rushing, Producing is Terry Lynn Carrington. We have Sonia Sanchez doing poetry. We have Angela Davis doing poetry. My name is Lakeisha Benjamin. I'm a saxophonist, composer, arranger, educator, and today I'm the band leader. <laughs> you know, my first two albums were more in, I would say, the soul, funk, R&B, pop kind of realm. My last album was more in the jazz, you know, modal, classic jazz. I think this project will look to merge those two sides of myself and show that jazz is fun, it's for the new generation, it's a young people's music, you can still dance to it, you can still party to it, but you can also still get to the more intellectual bases and get to the real, I guess, meat potatoes of the music. She has a special spirit that she channels through the music and she knows how to direct with her horn and really push you to where she wants you to go. Best band leaders always know exactly what they want out of the music that they write, you know. Music does change lives and it does heal and it's a force to really help people not only get through what they're, what they're going through, but also it's a time to party, it's a time to celebrate. We are, we're in a new place now, we're in a new world and it's time to uh, live out our dreams. <laughs> <laughs>